Hi, my name is Robin Nichols. I'm a photography teacher based in Sydney, in Australia. And uh, over the next few videos, I'm going to show you a few tips on how to improve your photography using a digital camera. Uh, mostly, uh, the first video, we're going to show you how to improve your compositional skills uh, adhering to the rule of thirds. Uh, composition is quite an easy thing to get into as a basic level because uh, all of us uh, can look at our pictures and we can appreciate uh, whether they're good or bad. We get a good feeling from them. Um, I've got a, a picture here of this amazing hotel in Dubai, the Burj Al Arab. Um, and uh, as you can see here, the, the picture's not centered. It's not centered. And uh, one of the rules we learn to begin with as general composition is to compose things by moving them away from the center of the picture. Because so when we have them in the center of the picture, they tend to look very uh, like a school photo, essentially. So not a very good thing. So I can guarantee if you go home now and have a look at your collection of pictures, the ones that you find that you kind of have a nice feeling about uh, are going to be the ones probably adhere to the rule of thirds. And how this works is, is by dividing the frame into uh, nine segments. So if you can imagine some lines coming across this frame here, and uh, we try and avoid putting, when we're taking the picture, we try and avoid putting the picture into the middle of the frame. So the subject has to be over to the left, it has to be over to the right, or we need to put the sea or horizon line, for example, down into the bottom third of the frame rather than through the middle. So you can see here, this is quite a nice effect. I've got a couple of other examples here that I can show you very briefly. Now here we've broken the rules ever so slightly because although the sea line, the horizon here, goes kind of pretty much through the middle of the frame, we have a lead in here, the diagonals are leading the eyes into the picture here along this strong line here, and it runs to about a third of the way into the picture. So it kind of adheres to the rule of thirds. This one's a little bit more self-explanatory, I think, and you can see here, again, we've got the horizon line running through the center, which is, I suppose, not strictly rule of thirds, but we've got the interest, the bit that sucks the eye into the picture here, the boardwalk running into the right-hand third of the picture. So we need to keep that in the back of our minds when we're doing this. There's something in this little Panasonic GF1 that will really help us do that, and that's the ability to, obviously, change something in the camera. We're going to change the way the viewfinder appears. Uh, this is just the standard viewfinder, so you turn it on, the LCD lights up, and we've just got an empty frame here. So if I press the menu button, and I scroll down on this camera to the custom menu, you'll notice over here, and a couple of clicks down here, we've got a thing called guidelines. Now the guidelines, if we scroll over, has a number of different uh, choices here. I don't really use the bottom two, it's this one up the top here. And this is really absolutely brilliant. Let's press the menu a second time. And you can see immediately I've got these nine squares or rectangles appearing. So this will help you immensely in your composition simply by uh, reproducing what we see here, shifting the subject either to the left-hand side, to the right-hand side, and we can run the horizon line through the lower portion or the upper portion of the frame. So it's a very simple technique to introduce yourself to the rule of thirds, but also whenever you switch the camera on, it reminds you that the rule of thirds is there and we need to modify our composition and our framing accordingly just to make a better, stronger looking picture. Thank you.